Hey, what's up guys? Jerome here from the Bonsai Supply. And today I'm gonna to show you an easy and inexpensive way to build a bonsai pillar. So here's a list of items that you're going to need. I'm also gonna leave this list down in the description with links to where you can buy these items. So let's get to work. So the first step that I do is attach the uh, auger to the hand drill and then I just drill and just break up the top layer of the clay which can be very tough to get through without an auger. Um, so as you can see I'm loosening up the top soil and then now at this point I revert to the shovel and then dig a hole. And I dig the hole by about two feet wide by about two feet down. And then I use the auger again to loosen up the bottom again before I go in with the um, shovel again. Here I measured the uh, hole to make sure that it's just about the right depth. And then I go ahead and measure out the uh, four by four post. And since I wanna have about three feet exposed, I wanna have two feet in the ground for stability. So I measure it out to about five feet. And then I use my hand saw and just cut the uh, four by four in half. Now at this point, I measure uh, two feet on one side of the uh, four by four. And so that I know that I have a line where I know what needs to be in the ground and what needs to be out of the ground. As you can see, I'm putting the uh, post into the ground and now I am making sure that the uh, post is completely level. And so what I like to use is actually a brick to make the uh, post level in the ground. Now what I use here is just quick grit, uh, which is regular concrete, uh, add some water. And then this is something really cool about the uh, auger drill. I use the auger drill to also mix the concrete. So it is a two in one tool. And then I go ahead and fill in the uh, hole with one bag of concrete. Here you can see the brick on the side. That's just for making the pole as level as possible. Now once I have filled the entire hole with concrete, I use a stick and just work in the concrete all the way around. I don't want to have any like air pockets, so to speak, in the concrete. All right, so now that the uh, 4x4 post has been planted with the concrete, we waited just overnight to let the uh, concrete cure and really harden. And now this post is now ready for the next step. Now, the height of the post is really up to you how, how, how tall you want the trees to be. I like to have my trees right around 3 feet, which is sort of eye levelish for me. Now, that depends, of course, of anybody else. So now the next step, what we're going to do here is take a 2x4, and this is going to give us the side. So we're going to uh, measure it out, cut it, and then attach it to the side of the post. One on this side, one on the other side. And then we're going to take the thinner slats, which are the one by two inches, and we're going to lay them on uh, across the top here. And that's going to give us our stand. So let's get to work. So once again, I measured the uh, two by four here to make sure that both sides are gonna be even. And when I say that my tree is gonna be displayed on eye level at three feet, keep in mind that that is in mind with having the tree on top of the three feet. Now here I'm measuring out the middle of the uh, two by four so that I can make sure that both sides are exactly even when I attach it to the post. And I use three and a half inch exterior screws. And those are the uh, gray screws. And I use about three to four per side, depending on size of the uh, actual tree that's going to be uh, put on top of the post. All right, so as you can see, I'm attaching the two by four on the opposite side, and that will give us optimum uh, hold once we attach the, two, the one by two inch slats that go across the top. Now here I'm um, measuring out and cutting the uh, one by two inch wooden slats that are going to be attached to the two by four. Um, and those are going to be attached with uh, inch and a half screws, also outdoor screws. And, and so here what I did is I first measured the tree, which is going to be placed on top of this post, which then gives me the, uh, the width of those slats. So as you can see, I'm arranging them. And then what I do is I place one, uh, one inch by two inch down, and then I make a space and then add another one. So as you can see here, I'm just laying them out to make sure that they fit properly. So now obviously if you have really large and heavy trees, you might need to get a thicker wood than the one by two inch uh, that I use on top here. The one by two inch works perfectly for my size trees, but like I said, if you have larger ones, you might need larger trees. 
Now the tree that I use for this post is Anchor and as you see I measured out the post to just perfectly fit this very tree as every tree is different so therefore every post has to be slightly different as well. So as you can see it is super easy to build a bonsai stand. Now you can obviously go ahead and stain them, paint them or even add a little fire to make them look a little more interesting. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.